Today, police say they made an arrest in a deadly shooting on the southwest side. It happened last night and claimed the life of 39 year old Dustin Subaya. Police say it happened on Capas Street near Moore Street and Belmont Avenue. Our Chase Howell went back to the neighborhood where SWAT teams spent hours yesterday. I spoke to a neighbor who says Subaya was shot and killed here on this front porch. She says the alleged shooter lived at this home right next door. And according to that neighbor, SWAT sat outside that home for eight hours before arresting the alleged shooter two and a half miles away this morning. Neighbors on campus stood on the street in disbelief as police investigated a deadly shooting Monday night. It, it kills me. It, it kills me. I lost a good friend and I lost two good friends. One's probably going to go to prison for the rest of his life. And the other one is going to be buried in the ground. Tony Montgomery says Dustin Sabaya and a friend of theirs got into an argument. When Montgomery says he got Sabaya to cool off a little bit, things took a dramatic turn. Next thing you know, I heard a gunshot ring out. I looked up and he was shot in the, was shot in the neck. And I, I didn't know what to do. I just, I panicked. I told people to call 911. IMPD says information led them to believe the man who allegedly shot Sabaya was in a neighboring duplex. And after hours of SWAT being on scene and searching the home, police say he was nowhere in sight. Obviously, we have to do everything that we can as an agency. That's number one is uh, making sure that the community is safe, making sure officer safety is there. Um, and sometimes we uh, do have to um, gather search warrants in order to enter a home. Um, and so we, our agency has practiced slowing things down um, in order to uh, give suspects an opportunity to um, surrender. Police say they found the suspected gunman two and a half miles away on North Traub Avenue early Tuesday morning. And while police may have found the person responsible, Montgomery hopes lawmakers can find a solution to all the gun violence. They need to put some kind of law on these handguns and all this carrying around. It's nonsense, man. They need to stop this. They need to do something because what they're going to keep doing is it's going to be death after death after death. And that's what's going to happen. And the government ain't seeing this. The man who is said to have shot and killed Sabaya faces a preliminary charge of murder. Reporting in Indianapolis, Chase Howell, 13 News.